Hi, for today's tear down, one more big avionics black box. We have here a British made one, the Elliott Brothers radio transmitter receiver. So a quite a serious one, 40 cm deep, quite heavy and very uh, solid construction with this uh, integrated heat sink on the top. On, on the front, obviously, as always, your handle in the front, your uh, fasteners, your destination plate, and your connectors at the back. So, here at the back, we have three connectors the test socket, and the TP or BP, with uh, heavily gold plated uh, pins. As you can see, here we have a coax for antenna and uh, quite a huge number of pins in this one. Slotted screws everywhere. And uh, quite a nice one. It was uh, cheap on eBay actually. Initially it was not very cheap, but there is this new eBay feature when you put something in your watch list. Because you know, it is interesting, but it is uh, too expensive but yet it is interesting but yet it is too expensive so you put it in your watch list to keep an eye on it and a few hours later you receive a private offer with a, a reduced price sometimes 10% sometimes uh, up to 30 or 50% even and then you take the opportunity to get the thing it is uh, evil so I got it, I believe, for 30 euros or something like this. So it was not uh, too expensive and a really nice uh, box. Quite uh, interesting construction, as you will see. So I will first zoom for you onto the manufacturer plate. So here we are. So Elliot Brothers London in uh, Baldsildon SX. Type AA1901-1 Radio Transmitter Receiver Your uh, regular uh, NATO number Your uh, Unified uh, Fred Metric I believe symbol, something like this Weight in both uh, kilos and uh, libs So everyone will be happy and of course, made in England, and even a compass safe distance with also both uh, metric and uh, Murikanic measures. So interesting. All the front is made of uh, solid aluminium in sync with built in screws to secure the contents. And it is all uh, modular construction. So I will now remove the covers. So we have on this thing a main top cover with, as you can see, all the screws circled in green. Means it is screws you can undo without too much trouble. And we should allow to access the contents. So they are captive screws. So very nice construction this thing. The corners here yeah, sadly did take some shocks and they are a little bit bent but I did manage to correct it. The only thing is the side walls they are very very thin. It is just a thin piece of aluminium. So we have a number of screws on this top cover already. This thing will be one more billion screws tear down. By the way, because as you will see, it is securing all the internal modules. So after you undo the screws, the cover will just lift off like this. You can see how it is machined inside to accommodate actually the handles of the modules. So we have here, it is upside down, by the way, a number of uh, modules 
Amplifier Radio Frequency, Synthesizer, Receiver Radio Homing, Receiver Radio Communications, and Power Supply. So all these modules are secured by screws in the bottom. And then you can just remove them by lifting the handle. And as you can see, the side panel here is just more cosmetic than something else. So on the bottom we have a plain uh, aluminum plate which will reveal again four screws uh, painted uh, green. It will reveal all the connections of the modules and the screws securing the modules to the frame. And you can see I have a proper technique for undoing quickly the screws. You use both uh, parts of a screwdriver like this and it will spin much faster when you turn here. Okay, so we have in this cover the pin out of the modules, by the way. Quite uh, interesting and uh, sorry for the light today, it is a little bit annoying, but you get the ID at least. And here is what it looks like. Uh, pins with uh, not a wire wrapping. The wires are actually soldered to the pins. And yet more uh, green screws that you can uh, undo. And will allow to release all the modules which I will do right now. So like this, this uh, top front part will uh, just lift out and actually the other ones, it is just a matter of pulling I believe, yes. Like so, so little uh, modules or carriages of electronics. This power supply. So the show come, but we tried already previously, and it is more difficult. Okay. So here we are. Now I can put the camera overhead, and we will have a close look at everything. So we will start with this mounting frame. You can see at the bottom here all the connections, so little golden pins, actually super delicate, super thin and with critical alignment uh, issues because the matching uh, receptacle in the modules are very narrow and any misalignment in the pin will uh, prevent to connect the module. So quite uh, rare construction. On the back here we have a box with apparently a noise filter devices. Uh, capacitive pass-through you can see on the back here but you cannot uh, undo this cover there is not enough clearance I did uh, try. One uh, a wet tantalum capacitor uh, hidden here and judge the connections to the back plugs the bottom, all the wiring harness, a number of coax everywhere, everything nicely tied and uh, you can see they did not use uh, wrapping here, they did uh, actually solder the wires. This is a solid uh, machined aluminum plate and there is nothing else to see in here. Uh, again, the bottom plate with the pin out of the modules. Okay, and we will start, I believe, now with the power supply. 
So this is a quite serious block of metal. The same female pins arrangement here, some alignment pins and machined aluminium box, a few quality stamps. The model number, cyan number is actually 032 in here and three or four modifications were checked. Warranty expires in April of 1978. So it must be from 76, 77, something like this. So I will now undo this cover and we will have a look inside. So, what do we have in here? Ah, actually, ah, it is interesting, it is a two-part construction because we have this uh, PCB that is coming off completely and then we have this uh, assembly here. So what do we have in here? Apparently, it is just a matter of undoing two more screws. You can see the pinouts here. Interesting, this one is added with uh, a lot of uh, wires and they are actually epoxied to the board, so they are not uh, going anywhere, but still a weird uh, construction. And we have here quite uh, tiny screws actually. So the circuit board, the uh, added row of uh, pins here with uh, wires epoxy to the board and little uh, aluminium separators and on the other side we have actually a bunch of RCA integrated circuits from the 40 series some of them are uh, ceramic body I try to get them in focus for you, like this maybe. A bunch of passive parts as regular old school carbon resistors, metal can transistors here. So quite aware to see uh, all these ICs in a power supply. I have to check what they are, maybe they are just analog stuff, but quite a lot of uh, ICs. Interesting. And there is no additional information on the board about uh, what it does exactly. Okay, so the rest of the power supply here, we have one more aluminium plate covering uh, what seems to be a uh, power PCB with more screws to undo actually. It is already a bunch of screws removed. I did do it off camera but they are more. So it was six screws for the metal plate, six screws for the PCB. And I have a feeling I must undo the screws at the other side also. So quite annoying when you want to do it quickly on video. But I guess it is not the original purpose of the design. Lot of bulge wires you can see in this thing. But everything solidly epoxyed to the board. Okay. Uh, we have four more screws here which should release all the contents. Probably it is a kind of build of heat sink case. Uh, you know what? Mm. And here, yes, we have it's in compound. 
Androuillave, Parentley, Imperial Rose et un. Ok, I guess it is good. Oh yes, everything is coming. So here is the inside of the case with a lot of its and compound. And we have here this power supply module with a testing construction. You can see several layers of parts. Uh, something completely shielded here. So it seems to be a, probably transformer. Power transistors of uh, Motorola brand, old school ones, also Texas instrument for this one. We have here a box completely closed and sealed. Probably some uh, voltage regulation stuff. It will not be possible to open it because it is uh, potted, it seems, well glued and anyway uh, epoxy to the board here you can see there is a thick epoxy joint and it is anyways soldered also so it will not come off but quite nice construction a lot of wet tantalum capacitors here probably and one more edit board here with What total on capacitor and a relay from Italy. Quite nice and serial number completely different here as it is written 69. Okay, we have a brand here also on this coil green Gresham Gresham. So actually, it seems to be some kind of uh, old school switch mode power supply. Because you can see the transformers are uh, very tiny. Well, we are in uh, 400 Hz, so maybe you don't know, do not need uh, big transformers anyways, but quite weird. I do not see a lot of... Uh, Rectifying diodes, by the way. Really curious. Old school. Uh, the red thing in the middle here is a uh, Wima German capacitor. The good brand of German capacitors. Not Rifa. More of them here. Okay. So I will put uh, this back together. Uh, one more mystery part here in aluminium can. Sphernis glass coated uh, resistors here. One little trimmer, so quite a complicated beast with adjustments and such. One over one here. And sadly, this box will keep its secrets. But I would like to know what we have inside. Ok, I will try to put this unit back together and we will go to the next one. So we continue with the receiver radio communications module. Big size number, three modifications. Same connectors with also coax connectors of course. And a number of screws on the cover that I did already undo to save a little bit of time so we will start with the big cover here very interesting so plain uh, aluminium uh, panel here like you find in uh, Russian radios interesting and ok Quite a lot of stuff. I can see some very interesting parts. But first I will undo the two other covers. 
So this is nice, very old school as you can see design. No uh, digital circuits, it seems perfectly analog thing. Yes. And here, what do we have? So everything will be of this uh, flavor, I believe. Okay, so. Uh, full set of uh, filters here, you can see. Add two filters, maybe, with trimmers of uh, several cans. You have uh, air. Uh, Capacitors adjustable, you have coils, you have so probably, yes, 0 0.5 picofarad capacitors. Here, these blue things, very, very nice. A more adjustable capacitors here. So, it is a wall radio receiver thing. But actually, so this is interesting. I need to open it on this side. Really, really nice construction and a quite uh, amazing mix of brands. You have Philips, you have ST Microelectronics, you have Aris. A large selection of uh, components also. We have here a very weird part, this uh, uh, shiny uh, cylinder written England with three legs. And it is written also Fourth Hampton, but it does not say what it is. But a three leg device, or maybe it is just a capacitor with. Uh, grounded case in metal interesting so I need to undo it looks like there is more stuff between the bars but obviously I will not uh, undo everything because it is quite uh, complicated this thing so I need to undo this part on the other one so, in here we have more Aris uh, round ICs and more of the same stuff you can see. Actually, the soldering iron is eating because for this assembly I will need to undo the wires, but in the meantime I did unscrew this one. Okay. So, in here, after Undoing wires, I should be able to extract this module, which says Crystal Filter Unit SEI LTD, two of them made in England. Okay, very nice. So, obviously. Uh, this wall radio receiver thing and transmitter is remote controlled by the control box in the cockpit in an analog way so probably it is the goal of all these sections of tuners here to switch in and off a precise channel or something like this. Interesting. So I will uh, now, I believe I can put back together this module and we will go to the next one. Very, very complicated construction, by the way. Quite amazing stuff. We continue with the receiver radio homing. So this one is uh, thinner. Same construction, serial number 130 and no modifications. So we have one small panel on this side. Mm. 
that uh, is containing uh, such electronics. Texas Instrument, this I do not know. Like, uh, looks like the AMD logo here, actually. Probably not. Bone streamers and very old school construction again. Other side has uh, two panels and I have the feeling. This section will be very much similar to the other one. At least. Yes, the same uh, kind of multi-stage uh, tuner thing. Actually looks uh, absolutely identical to the one we opened before. But here maybe we have interesting electronics. I was expecting, you know, to find some nice uh, hybrids or something like this, but no. And uh, as you can see, it is pretty much the same the same uh, crystal filters here the same uh, where the free pin assembly here big calls here ok so it is just a different flavor of the same uh, of the radio receiver more uh, simple obviously but uh, less electronics but a very similar construction so it was fast for this module I will now open the synthesizer we continue with the next module here synthesizer electrical frequency so this one has a difference it is that it has some Phillips screws which uh, did require uh, drilling for two of them, by the way, because they were stripped. So what do we have in this one? I did expect something, you know, very nice, like a nice golden hybrid, but it looks like we will not have this. Here we have actually the same flavor of components but I see we have one other level of uh, printed circuit here so maybe it will uh, reveal something nice we never know but first I will undo the other cover with Philips screws for some reason <coughs> you know what I did not <coughs> try this screw before shooting the video. Luckily enough, I have my extractors. Sometimes it is not uh, even necessary to use the extractor, just the drill bit will work as here. So it is fine so what do we have one more screw but it is a regular one okay a bunch of uh, similar stages again you can see here four of them more uh, Round ICs here, Texas Instrument, RCA, one super weird part here called PMT, completely shielded. So it is most probably a crystal oscillator, but weird case, I did never see it before. And here you can see they did use some added walls in the box for shielding purpose. Okay, I will undo this board in order to check what we have under it.
Thanks to the Mexico video editing, the scores are off already. And actually, it should be possible to remove it like this. But it is not collaborating, it seems it would be necessary to undo the uh, panel here. I was not, uh, maybe just two scores will be enough. Mm, I do not think so. This thing is incredibly time consuming, as you can guess. Oh, we are not done yet because we have still the transmitter module. Okay, ah, at least it was worth it. At least we have some gold. MMI. Gold ceramic ices with gold legs. Okay. All uh, mill spec parts with a uh, ceramic case, you can see. So these ones are nice. Completely obscure part number. Super populated board here. So it is probably where you will uh, generate uh, the driving frequency for the receivers on transmitter. Interesting. Okay, I will put this pack together and we will go to the last module. So, we are left with this last but not least module, the uh, amplifier, I believe, transmitting amplifier probably, with a nice warning about beryllia in the transistors. So what do we have in here? Probably again a very complicated construction. Ok. Plaque group. Some kind of tar. Some kind of uh, rigid uh, shielding conductors here, pipes. Uh, well construction here for the connector, as you can see why they did not put it onto the main board. I do not know. And the tiny screws to undo, so we'll be right back. So after undoing uh, what, 10 screws here and 8 at the other side, I am actually able to extract the one contents, I believe. Yes. So a lot of thermal compound here. Serious construction here with uh, obviously your power transistors in uh, on this uh, metal plate. More uh, filter assemblies here and it looks like more crazy construction I would like to see what we have in here but I need to remove everything here or maybe not actually let me check out if I undo the tiny screw here Yes, okay, it will rotate like this. Allowing to check first this board here with two N5642 power transistors, probably those containing beryllium, uh, with nice gold contacts and a gold terminal here. 
they did apparently repeat the warning here. Interesting. Two times the same warning. Here we have V. You can see the arrangement of the connector, quite weird. And we have this board, this panel that should. If I unscrew it, yes, should come off and reveal what we have in here. But it is more unscrewing, so give me a few seconds. So one thing I can tell you, I am not taking this apart again anytime soon. And if you need tiny screws, get one of them, really. So what do we have in here? I hope it will be interesting. It is just coils. Okay. Well, at least we know. I did just notice here a number of uh, relays on the side to switch so probably in and out of the skulls. And uh, a nice uh, golden coax connectors here, regular model. So the, it did already exist in uh, 76 or 77. Quite interesting. Unknown little parts here, this ones with a ceramic in the middle, probably some kind of capacitors. One more white tantalum capacitor here, uh, two trimmers here onto a little mezzanine board. We we'll not see them here, the two blue things, and it is all. So a lot of thermal compound, I hope it is not containing barium. And really, really complicated assembly with uh, transmitter. I do not know what is the purpose of the black goop here. It is over a bunch of metal can transistors on the other side. The main coax here to the antenna, probably. Yes, because your uh, signal input will be here and you will transmit here. Okay, so interesting. Very complicated assembly. Spare no expense, obviously. Nice uh, QN uh, series power transistors here with a number of little uh, calls here. Okay, at least we, we found some gold in this thing. I was uh, expecting more of them, but not more of it, but not sadly. Well, there is still the pins here with gold, but it is not the most uh, interesting. All these relays are actually branded Elliot. Okay, I believe I will try to put all of these back together. It will be quite a challenge. And it is all for this device. So interesting one. One more black box in my collection of uh, obscure old electronics. So thanks for watching. Bye bye.